Along the Pacific coast of North America, spectators flock to select California beaches to witness one of the most unique marine mammals on the planet. Once thought to be extinct, these prehistoric looking creatures emerge from the cold depths of the sea for temporary refuge on land. Weighing up to 5,000 pounds, their violent mating rituals are a strange sight to behold. Diving relentlessly to unbelievable depths to hunt for food, these animals explore a dark, mysterious world that we know little about. This is the extraordinary story of the Northern Elephant Seal. Originally called sea elephants, the eastern Pacific Ocean once harbored hundreds of thousands of northern elephant seals. By the mid-1800s, however, the commercial exploitation of marine mammals had begun. Their predictable presence on mainland beaches during the breeding season made elephant seals easy targets for hunters. Consequently, the seals were butchered for the lamp oil that could be rendered from their thick blubber. Once populous from Baja California to the Aleutian Islands, northern elephant seals were slaughtered rapidly and already thought extinct by the 1870s. In the next few decades, any surviving colonies that were discovered were quickly decimated. Feared doomed to extinction, Many of the seals were killed for display in North American museums. Perhaps as few as 20 animals survived this period of commercial harvesting. Remarkably, the species endured. And in 1911, a small remnant colony of 125 seals was discovered on Guadalupe Island in Mexico. In 1922, the Mexican government declared the island a biological preserve, finally giving protected status to the few hundred known remaining elephant seals. Over the next 40 years, steady growth occurred and the population increased to an estimated 13,000 animals by 1957. The population slowly expanded northward, establishing breeding colonies from the Channel Islands to the northern California coast. In 1961, the first elephant seal pup was born on Año Nuevo Island, located just off the shoreline in Northern California between Santa Cruz and Half Moon Bay. The island colony grew quickly, forcing the seals to find new breeding space on nearby beaches on the Año Nuevo mainland. In January 1975, the first known mainland birth of a northern elephant seal occurred at Año Nuevo. The population experienced exponential growth for the next 30 years, with more than 160,000 individuals now inhabiting waters stretching from Baja California to northern Vancouver Island in Canada. Despite this astonishing rebound in population, it is unlikely that you will spot many elephant seals near land most months of the year. This is due to the enormous amount of time they remain at sea. Adult northern elephant seals spend 70 to 80 percent of their lives in open ocean, swimming constantly for months at a time in search of food. Their unique ability to travel long distances results in biannual swims that can cover an incredible 20,000 miles in one year, more than any other mammal on the planet. As they migrate from their chosen breeding grounds to the distant waters of the northern Pacific, they must expend additional energy hunting the great depths of the ocean. Their diet includes a variety of deep-sea bottom-dwelling marine animals, such as squid, octopus, swell sharks, spiny dogfish, eels, rockfish, and crabs. Diving to unimaginable depths of the ocean affords them this bounty of resources, 
with far less competition from other animals. This also helps to avoid encounters with their own predators, including great white sharks and killer whales. It is essential that elephant seals eat large quantities of food during this underwater journey. Once they return to land, their preferred prey is far from shore, requiring them to go months without food. As a result, the seals consume as much as they can while at sea. With their massive size, males can eat close to 100 pounds of food per day. Northern elephant seals push their bodies to extraordinary limits with their incomparable diving patterns. Current research reveals that they can hold their breath for up to two hours at a time while diving to depths of more than 5,000 feet. Only sperm whales can dive deeper. Elephant seals also spend little time resting at the surface between dives. Fitted with data logging instruments, Researchers have discovered that elephant seals are essentially diving machines. The seals dive nearly non-stop, only resting on the surface for a few minutes at a time during their entire journey at sea. This remarkable diving ability relies on some unique biological characteristics. Instead of taking a breath in, elephant seals actually exhale before diving. While making the descent, their lungs become smaller as the water pressure increases to levels that would crush most other mammals. As they plunge into the dark depths of the ocean, they must rely on the oxygen stored in their blood and muscles to survive. Another fascinating adaptation is their ability to slow their heartbeat when diving. Elephant seals can actually decrease their heart rate to an amazing six beats a minute this reduces the amount of oxygen needed to survive the dive. In December and January, the seals return to land, arriving at beaches up and down the coastlines of Mexico and California for the annual breeding season. Año Nuevo State Park is the site of the largest mainland rookery in the world supporting thousands of elephant seals every year. The males, also called bulls, arrive first. These brawny beasts venture back to the same beaches year after year. And despite their long, arduous journey across thousands of miles of open ocean, they show up ready for a fight. Mature bulls engage in fierce battles in hopes of achieving the role of an alpha male, a highly coveted position of dominance. These fights begin with the bulls thrusting their bodies upward while producing a distinct vocal sound. This unique trumpeting challenges other males, warning them to stay away. Their trunk-like nose inflates, helping them with this vocalization. These colossal creatures frequently engage in bloody battles, and many males are covered in scars from their wounds. Once a bull has gained alpha status, he establishes what is known as a harem. This is a group of up to 100 females that he oversees and attempts to breed with. Females well aware of the benefits of having a protector around, intentionally associate with these dominant males. The alpha bulls can give them the critical protection they need from unwanted male intruders and allow them to peacefully give birth to their pups. Females choose a flat location above the tide line, ensuring that if a storm comes through, their pup won't be washed away. During years where storm intensity is greater, pup mortality can be devastating. The notable high bluffs at Año Nuevo offer the critical protection birthing mothers need to assure the safety of their young. In 2013, more than 2,000 pups were born here. About three to six days after arriving, females give birth. Normally, a single pup is born to a female 
which they have been carrying over the last eight months. Weighing between 60 and 80 pounds, pups are born with distinctive black hair. The new pups have little blubber, and the black fur helps them soak up the sun to stay warm. The mother will immediately begin the lactation process, nursing the pup with her extremely fat-rich milk. She will continue to nurse and bond with the pup for a mere four weeks. It is vitally important for the females to nurse the pup so quickly, as they are on the brink of starvation at this time. Incredibly, adult elephant seals do not eat during the breeding season. As a result, the mother will typically lose an astounding 50% of her body weight during lactation. Meanwhile, pups gain an average of 10 pounds of weight per day, growing 300 pounds in the first month. Once the pups are weaned from nursing, mothers are ready to begin the breeding cycle again. As the females go into estrus, bulls do not hesitate, with many formulating different approaches to successfully mate. While alphas take control over their harems, they may employ another bull, called a beta, to assist in keeping other males away. These betas may find reward later and be allowed to mate with females in the harem as well. Other bulls devise their own methods, expertly finding ways to sneak into the harem and mate when the alpha isn't looking. Successful alphas can impregnate up to 50 females in one season. Coincidentally, the bulk of the mating typically falls around Valentine's Day. Since mothers essentially abandon the pups after they are weaned, they must fend for themselves at the rookery. The weaned pups assemble into small groups, learning how to swim and feed on their own. By this time, they have also molted, exchanging their black coat for a sleek gray one instead. After a couple months of testing the waters, they finally gain the confidence to venture out to sea. The life cycle of the northern elephant seal begins again. The resilient nature of the northern elephant seal is an extraordinary conservation success story. Despite the odds, these mammals have proven to be larger than life bouncing back from near extinction towards a thriving presence today. Animals like the northern elephant seal are the vehicles through which we can visit an unknown world, giving us critical access to the mysterious depths of the Pacific Ocean. Their unique ability to survive one of the harshest environments on Earth will provide countless research opportunities for years to come. As we continue to examine their unique biology, we will hopefully learn more about our planet and ourselves.